After years of brutality against innocent citizens, it seems policemen in Nigeria are now turning the heat on themselves. The Inspector General of Police, Husman Baba Al-Kali, has ordered the Ocean State Commissioner of Police, Olaleye Faleye, to investigate alleged assault of a female inspector, Olorushogu Bamidele, by her divisional crime officer. This was after a viral video appeared on social media in which the female inspector laments the physical torture and beating inflicted on her in uniform by her superior. But first, let's share this video with you. What is my offense? He now started beating me. To the extent he nicked me, he put me into nicked. Look at all my chest, my hand, everywhere in George. Mr. Like Jai Matthew. Because of what? I don't know. Because he asked me for out that I should befriend him. I said, no, I'm a married woman. I cannot befriend you. He started blackmailing me, blackmailing me with every on evidence something that he is the one that is befriending me, which is not so. This is terrible. In the presence of your co workers. It, yeah, my writer was there. Constable, two constables, and, the, and 10 civilians. After doing that, he now went inside and carried their gun. He said, want to gun me down. The civilian now take me out from the office. They said, I should be running away. I said, no. If you want to kill me, you should kill me. They should please, they should help me, they should assist me. I just want to kill me or oh, the Omu division. All right, gentlemen, Section 356 of the Criminal Code Act says assaulting a police officer amounts to felony. But in this case, this is a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What would what be the case it's here? A dog, it's a dog <laughs> affair. Thank uh, you. It's, um, I, 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 I don't understand why a policeman will go to this extent, especially when the woman is married. <laughs> So this person is married and you want to sleep with her, she says no. And then you you lost your head completely and decided to beat her up and even enjoy her. I mean, I've said it repeatedly, there are some people who do not deserve to be in the police. Some found themselves in the police because there was no other job. Mm, mm. You know? This is we have policemen that we are proud of, we talk about them, but this one is a disgrace. And the, the IG ought to move quickly. The same way they used to parade policemen who torture civilians, yeah. um, who extort money and all that, you know, they will now, you will see the uh, first PRO supervising the removal of their, the, the removal of their kids and all that, and suddenly they turn to ordinary civilian. If they can't do this, once they found this person guilty, then they are a bunch of hypocrites. You must parade him the way you parade those officers who beat up civilians. Because this person, the shame that uh, this person has brought on the police is worse mm -hmm. than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One, this woman is married. Why should you want to sleep with a married woman? Huh? That's bad enough. It's against our culture. Go get your own woman. That's bad enough. Then you now brutalize her because she will not cooperate. It's not by force now. I mean, it has to be, <laughs> both of you must be, must be consenting adults. Absolutely. Before this, that sort of thing can happen between you. It's not something that you, you force yourself on a woman. That's, that means if he had his, uh, his way, we even rape her. We will rape her. All right, Paul Dada. Um, this is becoming very rampant because in February we had a report of this sort also in Enugu. I don't think those who do this kind of thing, I, think, I don't think they are normal. I think this guy must be nuts. I don't think it's okay. Uh, because, um, one, first of all, why would you even want to? sleep with her and then she she rejects your overtures and the next thing is you start to torture her you have to be mad to do that i mean you have to be abnormal what i think 
should be done. You know, me personally, I even think prison eh, mm. is too good for people like this. Mm. Men it depends, it depends on the prison. No, yeah, well, I'm, I'm coming. There are prisons in Nigeria and there are prisons. Some are there, very there are, good. I, I think rapists or sexual, those who are sexually assault women, should have a special cage in a prison. You know, I, I coined a word some time ago. I said they are beasts. They should be in zoo, not in prison. They should be in a rapist zoo. You know. I mean, this is a disgrace. It's a disgrace to his uniform. And, um, you know, when you wield power, when you're in a place of authority, uh, or you, wield, you have power, if you misuse, misuse it, you are a beast. We need sure. to know the kind of people we are getting into the police. So I would like to know, because do we really have a specific law on workplace harassment in, in this country? Well, I've not, um, I know that every responsible corporate organization frowns at sexual harassment in the workplace. It's something for which you can lose your job mm. in a jiffy. I know also that the police will not tolerate that because the, uh, the police is a responsible um, organ of government, responsible uh, security outfit of government and it's also bound by civil service laws yeah. and all that. So because they are public servants, there is no law that permits the kind of irresponsible behavior that we've been told um, has happened between this uh, police woman and her boss. If looking at the way he's been battered, a lot must have gone on between them. And, uh, you know, she just shows that there are still, still so many people without the requisite discipline that you need to be successful as a security operative. You have to be above board. You have to be above board. All kinds of crimes are committed by policemen. All kinds. All kinds. Some have connived with armed robbers before, you know. And they arrest. Some have even accompanied armed robbers or uh, uh, criminals to places of crime. Mm -hmm. All, right. All kinds of crime. When, when, when I was editing the um, weekend tablet, we used to all get all kinds of stories. There was a policeman that raped the wife of a suspect. <laughs> slept with the wife of a suspect. Why down was begging, please release my husband, release my husband. He lured her into his office. He, he did not even lock the door. All somewhere, right, somewhere around I ran that gig, I will not mention the police station in particular. He did not even lock the door. So All the right. junior police officer opened the door and found his ogre mm. on top of a suspect's mm. wife. All right, that's been, so yeah. this is, this is, it's a lot, this of, is it's a lot of mess out there. No, it's a lot of nonsense. A lot of mess out there.